What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I thought it'd be fun to pick up one of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side Dimensions Movie Pack Secret Editions for you guys. So yeah, I finally ended up getting one of these uh, boxes instead of just a couple of the Secret Editions. I thought it might be fun to see what we can get from it, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is of course the re-release version where uh, we have everything as a secret rare now, in case people are wondering. This isn't like one of the older Gold Edition ones. Basically, same packaging, you just gotta look for it to actually say Secret Edition. And that means every card in this set is actually available as Secret Rare. And supposedly, Blue Eyes Alternative is easier to get too. And I've noticed it being a little bit easier to get through uh, just some of the special editions we've gotten too. So, anyway, let's go on ahead, open this up, see what we can get. Because, yeah, there's 10 of those uh, special editions, which basically what they are in this. So, we gotta get going on this, otherwise it's gonna be a longer video. But of course, too, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, I really appreciate it. And if there's anything from this set that you want to get, you know, and uh, buy it separately or whatever, uh, check out my link on TCG Player. It'll be the top link in the description. If you buy anything using that link um, or using the code Cybernaut, it helps support my channel. So I'd really appreciate it. And of course, too, I have it where that link will take you to uh, this set. But also, if you just buy anything, whether it's even a different card game, it helps support my channel. So I would really appreciate it. Anyway, let's just get to it. I've been really excited to open up one of these. Again, I kind of waited a little bit, and I was like, you know what? I gotta get a box of this. I, I love the way the secret looks on this set. And, yeah, Blue Eyes Alternative being easier to get and all that, too. Feels worth it. So a little bit late, but better late than never. Anyway, for our promos, we got uh, Dusa, then Blue Eyes uh, White Dragon, and then also Slifer the Sky Dragon. So, yeah, those are some of the random ones you get, of course, from the promo pack. And the promo pack is the only part that is ultra rare. Everything else, like the main set, is secret rare. And looks really nice. Let's get to it. There's quite a few cards I want to get from this set. Basically, I want to place it of everything, though, to be honest. See, oh, there we go. Uh, Spiritual Swords Revealing Light. That's actually pretty good. Deuce Explosion. Magical Contract Door. And then we got uh, Gear Gill. What are the Cubics? Which, really good to get, because we do know that in uh, Dual Overload that we're getting the cubic support that we were missing. So, I might build that. I I've been thinking about it. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Can't wait for that set, though. I've already ordered a case. Uh, Dimensional Mirage. Then, uh, Dark Garnix. Have uh, Adora as well. Chaos Form. And then also, a uh, V-Jom. Not bad. Man, we got a few uh, of the cubics right there. And even Chaos Form looks amazing, too. I love the way Chaos Max looks on this set as a secret rare. Amazing. Like, seriously. Induce Explosion. Then uh, Dark Garnix again. Dimension Mirage. Adora. And then Chaos Swarm. Okay. <laughs> Got kind of some odd packs on that one. A lot of doubles, basically. I think I only need uh, one of Blue Eyes Alternative. And then I have my playset of secret rare ones. So I'm also hoping to get that, obviously. Another one of Dusa, then Dark Magician this time, and then uh, Obelisk this time as well. So, a little bit different. You can also get Crystal Dragon instead of Dusa. Promos are pretty cool, but yeah. I would rather get like Dusa a secret. I don't, I don't know if you can get him and Crystal Dragon as secret rares from this, but you can get the others. Starting off, we already have Crimson Nova. Now that's really cool to get as secret rare. Uh, Marsh Macaroon, Magician's Defense. Chocolate Magician Girl. I think she looks really cool as a secret rare. And then also we have, uh, oh yeah, the uh, Blade Garuda. That's another one of the Cubics. Yeah, Chocolate Magician Girl, I guess we'll put her to the top. She's one of the better Magician Girls for sure. Then also we have uh, Buster Gundil. Oh, there we go. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Now that one is really cool looking as a secret rare. Then uh, Vulcan. Gold Gadget, and then Metal Hold the Moving Blockade. Yeah, I've kind of noticed that Dark Magician Girl is kind of tougher to get from this set. It's like one of the shorter printed cards. Next up, we have Metamorph Fortress, Deep Eyes White Dragon. There's one of our Blue Eyes cards. And there we go. I was hoping. I was about to make that comment. I was like, I was about to say something about how uh, we got one of the Blue Eyes cards. I'm hoping Alternative is next. There we go. That is awesome. And... I think I have my playset now, so that's awesome. And then, yeah, Chaos Max. That's another one I think I only need one more of to get a playset. And those two seem to always be together in this set. So, awesome. Definitely good. And then Century Soldier. 
We'll set these aside. Chaos Max is like my favorite new card we got from the movie. I mean, I love Blue Eyes Alternative. It's a really great card. And I like a lot of cards, honestly, from this, like Mahad and all that too. But yeah, Chaos Max is just amazing. There we go. Throw those aside. Promo pack. We actually have a Crystal Dragon, it looks like, this time. So there you go. Then also Blue Eyes White Dragon, and then Obelisk again. I love that alt art of Obelisk. The only thing that kind of annoys me about this set is that there's not an alt art for Raw. I know later on we're going to get, you know, a new version of Raw, but still, you know, that would have been cool. Dimension Reflector, a Lemon Magician Girl, another one of Blade, Gold Gadget, and Metal Hold. But yeah, Lemon Magician Girl looks pretty nice too. Haven't seen the original Dark Magician Girl yet, though. That was actually pricey there for a while. Induce Explosion, Dark uh, Garnix, Dimension Mirage, Magician's Defense, and another Chocolate Magician Girl. Then another one of Swords of Revealing Light, or Spiritual Swords, I should say. Gandora X. Then, there we go. There's actually Dark Magician Girl. You gotta go with her. Looks amazing, a secret. Again, I, I love the way these cards are. Then Dimension Guardian, and then Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. Another one I think looks really cool from this set, even though <laughs> you don't really see him used at all, but I like Celtic Guardian. And all of his forms, basically. And he raps in the Abridged series, so yeah, you gotta go with that, right? <laughs> Always think of that. That's not enough of a reason. I don't know what is, you know? Also, sorry if I'm a bit shaky. Blood sugar's a little off. I have blood sugar issues, so that's the reason you might notice in some of my videos I shake. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's nothing serious, though, so don't worry about it. Crystal Dragon, Dark Magician, and Obelisk. No, it's probably something I shouldn't bring up because I think that gets people worried. But, you know, and you'll notice it. <laughs> but I feel like I should say something because I know my shaking's kind of bad right now. Have uh, Assault Wyvern, Unification of Cubic Lords, Dimension Sphinx, Dimension Guardian, and then another Dark Magician Girl. Already got two. Now, like the main card I think I'm hoping for is Slifer, as a secret, of course. Cubic Karma, Rebirth, then Berry Magician Girl, Crimson Nova. Now that's really cool to get a secret rare. And then also Celtic Guard. I'm pretty sure I'm going to build Cubic, so whenever we get that new support. I know a lot of you guys have told me how great they are, and they're a lot of fun. And I've seen what they can do, and they can be scary. Uh, let's see, uh, Dark Magic Veil, Lemon Magician Girl, Apple Magician Girl, then, of course, Pandemic Dragon, and Dark Magician. There we go. You might not think that's like a really good pull to get because it's, well, Dark Magician's been reprinting everything. It's even one of the promos. Well, I've actually heard the secret version of this card is really tough to get, so I think that's technically one of the short prints from this set. So it's a lot better than you think. It's really cool, too. I like that artwork. Of course, I like every artwork I think of uh, Dark Magician. The original will always be, like, my favorite, but I like all the artworks, to be honest. And I think they did really well with the movie ones of Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. I mean, they just look amazing. Let's see. Dooza, Dark Magician, there you go. <laughs> and then Slifer. But yeah, I have heard the secret is way tougher to get. Let's see, Dark Magic Veil, Lemon Magician Girl, Apple Magician Girl, another Dark Magician? Oh man, well there we go. I, again, I thought he was short printed. I don't know, back to back is cool. And then uh, Berry Magician Girl. Okay, maybe it's, maybe I'm having good luck or I'm getting turned into a liar. It's one or the other, right? I'll still take another one, I don't care. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Assault Wyvern. Then, oh, there we go. Now, I do know he's short printed. And we actually got one of uh, Palladium uh, Oracle Mahad. That is really cool. I've heard he's like as tough to get as Bless Alternative used to be, basically. So, that's awesome. Also, Unification of Cubic Lords, Berry Magician Girl, and Crimson Nova Trinity. You know what? He deserves a spot. He probably has like one of the coolest, like, summonings in the movie too, so definitely worth getting. 
The last one for the right side of the box, I guess. Clear Karibo, Dark Horizon, Kaiser Force Raider, and Cubic Wave. Actually, some cards we haven't seen already. Figure I won't keep naming off the same cards we keep saying. But we'll keep opening up the promo packs. Anyway, might as well. You guys can still kind of see the ratios on what's tougher to get, I guess. Dude's a Blue Eyes and Slifer. Okay. Let's see some of the trap cards. Induce Explosion, Cubic Wave, and Pandemic Dragon. A lot of the same ones we've seen. Then uh, Crystal Avatar. Don't know if I've seen that one yet. Uh, Gandora X, Counter Gate, Dark Horizon, and Kaiser Horse Raider. And what do we got from this one? Give me another Blue Eyes alternative. I'd be pretty happy about that. Slifer. Okay, now that's really good. Again, I think Slifer's supposed to be tough to get, so I'll take that. <laughs> that's really awesome. I love the way that looks, too. Seriously, that is cool looking. Deep Eyes White Dragon, Kiwi Magician Girl. I don't think we've got her yet. And same with Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight. That's a really good pack. Like I said, getting Slifer, I'm pretty sure he's short printed, too, or from what I've heard. So that's really cool. All right, and I am back. I, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, uh, you know, if you notice an edit right there, I had to go eat something real quick, and uh, yeah, that way I'd stop shaking, basically, so don't worry about it. I hadn't really had a, too much blood sugar problems lately until then, so yeah, in case people are wondering, that's what went on there, and uh, let's go ahead and open up the rest of this. I was thinking, you know what, I better eat a little bit of something, though, that way I'll feel a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit hard to record otherwise. But it's nothing to be concerned over either. So, let's get to it. Uh, Crystal Dragon, Dark Magician, and then of course Obelisk again. We only have so much room it seems like with all the, <laughs> the packaging with these things, right? Alright, so where were we? Spiritual Swords, Dark Magician, Man, we're getting these like right and left. Is it actually a short print? Now I'm kind of wondering. I, I guess I could have been wrong, we'll see either way. Uh, then a Berry Magician Girl, and then Crimson Nova Trinity. Either way, I still like getting this card, so sure. <laughs> now I'm starting to wonder. So I think we've gotten three now so far. It's kind of funny. I don't mind getting a few of them though. Uh, Deep Eyes White Dragon, Gondora X, Crystal Avatar, Cubic Wave, and Pandemic Dragon. We need to actually get like a, a Blue Eyes as well, right? That would be pretty cool. Hopefully we at least get one. Have uh, Metamorph Fortress, that Slifer, another one of Slifer. Okay, I'll take that too. That is really awesome looking as well. There we go. Then Counter Gates, Dark Horizon, and Kaiser Vorse Raider. You know what? I, I am just fine with another Slifer. Well, we're just going to stack those together. Not bad at all. <laughs> it's always going to be that way anyway, where it's like, you know, um, if I can get a god card, I'm happy. Especially those. I do hope we get that altar of Raw eventually, though, because they did give him another altar, you know. It's already, or it's about to, I think, come out for Japan. Do's a, a Blue Eyes and then, of course, Obelisk. But that way, it has another new artwork to kind of go with the Slifer and Obelisk from this movie. Let's see. Dark Magic Veil, Apple Magician Girl, Kaiser Force Raider, Cubic Wave, and then Pandemic Dragon. Seems like a lot of these are just about in the same order, so I always think that's funny. Oh, here we go. I don't think we've gotten this one yet out of this box. Dragon's Fighting Spirit, Crimson Nova, then Clear Karibo, Counter Gate, and a Dark Horizon. All right, next up, come on. Let's see something cool. Have a Dimension Reflector, Lemon Magician Girl, v -Jom. Then a Kiwi Magician Girl, and Lord Gaia. Can't wait for that new Gaia support, by the way. That's coming out with, what, the first set uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, the new series? I can't wait to get that. Like, what they've announced from it so far, they're, like, giving Gaia his own, like, fusion and all this other stuff. I I'm really looking forward to uh, trying that deck out. I think it'll be pretty fun to play. Looks like it anyway. Hope there's more support, though, too, not just the ones I revealed so far. 
Dusa. <laughs> it seems like he's like the most common one. Then uh, Blue Eyes and Slifer. But I'm fine with that. That's probably the one most people would want anyway because of Cubics. But yeah, I just think that's kind of funny. Dimension Reflector, Clear Karibo, Kaiser Force Raider, Cubic Wave, and then Pandemic Dragon. Was that the same order as those? No, nah, it was slightly different. Okay. That just seemed like exactly to me for a second. Alright, next up we have uh, Dark Garnix, then Silver Gadget. I don't think we've gotten one of those yet. Then, of course, Dragon's Fighting Spirit, Counter Gate, and Dark Horizon. Yeah, I think that's our first Silver Gadget. I've gotten, uh, I think, a couple of Gold Gadgets. I don't know why those are so tough to get. I mean, they're good cards, but, you know, just seems weird that certain things are seem to be tougher to get. Induced Explosion, uh, Dimension Mirage, Vijam, then Kiwi Magician Girl, and Lord Gaia. And now we are down to our last special edition. So, or secret edition, I know, but I'm still going to call it a special edition because that's basically what it is. What can we end with on this? I really hope I can get another Blue Eyes alternative, but we will see. I wouldn't even mind getting like a Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, secret rare, not the promo pack one, of course. So we'll see on that, too. First off, we do actually end with a Crystal Dragon on that, Dark Magician, and then Slifer. And what do we got? Just hope to get something cool, really. Have a Crimson Nova, Clear Karibo, uh, Dark Magic Vilt, excuse me, then uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. That's awesome. And then, uh, I was hoping maybe Alternative would be with it, because usually those two are together. But yeah, that's cool. We actually got another one of Chaos Max. I'll definitely take that. Like I said, that's my favorite from this. Of course, Century Soldier of Stone. I was hoping, though. I saw it was a fake monster, so I was wondering. It would have been out of order of normal, because usually it's Alternative and Chaos Max the, the other times I think I've gotten Alternative. I think all three times. So, a little weird that I actually mixed it up that time. Then, uh, Lemon Magician Girl, Dragon's Fighting Spirit, Gold Gadget, um, Metal Hold Moving Blockade, and Blue Eyes Alternative. There we go. Okay, he was just a pack over, I guess, right? <laughs> he wasn't where he was supposed to be, but he was still in the same special edition. So, you know what? That's good. I'll take another one for sure. That is awesome. Well, there we go. That's that's funny. Like I said, every other one besides that one has been with Chaos Max. So, uh, again, he just kind of mixed it up this time. And, yeah, last pack. Let's see what else we can end with. Can we get... You know what? Can we still get that Blue Eyes? Because we've gotten Chaos Max out of one, Alternative out of the next one, so the third one should have a regular Blue Eyes, right? Let's see. Share your energy with me. Hit that like button. What do we got? Dark Garnix, uh, Dimension Mirage, Dimension Reflector, Chocolate Magician Girl, and then... Uh, Blade Garuda. So yeah, unfortunately, no blue eyes are secret rare, but I have zero complaints, obviously. As you guys could tell, I mean, like I've said several times, this set's definitely worth getting anyway. If you like cards from this set, the secret rares are definitely going to be collectible, and they just look freaking cool. In my opinion, they probably look best in this rarity, although I still really like the ultra rares, and I really would would have uh, preferred we would have got the Kaiba Corp rarity, but Japan only on that. So, but I really like these. Uh, it does seem like Blue Eyes Alternative is easier to get, but not like crazy easy. And uh, Chaos Max, I mean, still looks just amazing as a secret rare. So let me know what you guys think about this set. As always, thank you guys for watching though. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and all that too. Check out my TCG player uh, code in the description and my link. And yeah, of course I will uh, catch you guys later. See ya.